Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Uh, I have uh, the drone we've all been waiting for and I'm probably the last drone reviewer in the United States to get my hands on it. Uh, the DJI Mini 3, uh, much anticipated, full featured sub 250 gram uh, mini drone. Uh, I uh, First off, before we get into all the details of that, I want to say that I really want to thank all of you for your best wishes while I was uh, laid up. In fact, this time yesterday, I was laying in a hospital bed, so glad to be out, glad to be out flying uh, drones. But uh, thank you, every. I, I just received a number of well wishes from everybody, and I just want to thank you all for that. But now, down to business with the uh, Mini 3. Uh, I was anxious to see it, and as soon as I got home, well, not as soon as I got home, but pretty close, I got it unboxed, uh, got the batteries all charged up, and, uh, and of course, I'm anxious to fly it. And like I always do when I get a new drone like this, I'm out at the Snake River Canyon uh, at Dedication Point. Uh, we're just going to take this drone up in the air, and we're going to send it out over the canyon. That's what I do with every new drone that I get uh, like this. Its first flight is out over the canyon, so that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, I'm going to do a series of uh, videos with this particular drone uh, and hopefully get a couple of them uh, done today here at the canyon. Uh, but we're going to just start out. This is just going to be a flight. We're not going to try uh, you know, we may we may try some digital zoom or something like that, but we're not going to be trying a bunch of the uh, tricks that this drone has. Uh, and you guys have all seen. There's been plenty of unboxings, so you guys know what comes in the box. I'll tell you the kit that I bought. Uh, I got the uh, kit with the uh, DJI RC. Let me grab that. Yeah, so here it is, the DJI RC. And this thing I'm looking forward to today because it's a bright sunny day out here today. Very little wind. It's about, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say uh, in the mid-70s, and the sun is beating down pretty hard, so uh, we'll see how all this performs. Bright light, I can tell you my iPhone would definitely start dimming pretty quickly on a day like today, so I'm anxious to see how this guy does. That's going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. We can talk about all the details once we get this bird in the air. Okay, uh, I've got everything fired up. Uh, it's still waiting for GPS, GPS signal weak. Uh, it's got six satellites now, so now 13, yeah, 10. Hasn't recorded a home point yet, although the satellite thing went uh, white. 16, yeah. So that didn't take long, so I'm gonna start a, uh, uh, well, I was going to start a screen recording, but I think first I'm going to do a uh, compass calibration. So uh, let me do that real quick. I will say that it's telling me the compass is normal, but I'm going to calibrate it. And we got a successful calibration. So I am going to start the screen recorder. Da -da. While recording can capture any sensitive information displayed on your screen, so that's okay. We're going to start now. They're just warning you that it can record, that it's, it can... Uh, capture information on your screen. So uh, let's see, because I want to zoom, I'm not going to shoot in 4K 60 this time. We're going to leave it in uh, 4K 30 and uh, yeah, autofocus. I'm just looking at differences that I might see on the menu here. Uh, and, uh, and I'm going to start recording now. And it did. So uh, let's, uh, let's do an auto takeoff. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how it uh, hovers and go from there. And of course immediately, yeah, and it updated the home point. Look at it, nice steady hover. I'm immediately getting chimes on the obstacle avoidance because it sees us. Uh, so let's uh, spin it around here a little bit. And this, this thing does not have, uh, uh, precision uh, landing, so there's no point in going up to that seven meter height like we do with some of the other drones, but let's bring it in here, take a little, little look at it. I, I'm struck by how quiet it is, I'll tell you. Yeah, and it's wanting to go around us. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to turn obstacle avoidance off for a moment to bring it in. 
So I am going to, well, I messed with the return to home altitude by accident there. Okay, let's bring it down and let's turn obstacle avoidance off for a minute. That way we can bring it in. And where we're at here, uh, gosh, you know, I'm just not so worried about obstacle avoidance because uh, we're going to be up high. But anyway, I just want to show you how that gimbal works. You can see it there moving back and forth and you can see how that camera uh, can look up. Let's bring it in just a little bit. That's, that's so cool about DJI drones. They're so steady that you're so comfortable uh, bringing the drone in this close. So I'm going to back it off again here. And uh, you know, it, it feels like a DJI drone, right? I'm, I'm immediately uh, comfortable with it. And uh, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put it on bypass mode for obstacle avoidance and we're getting that chime again. Uh, so disable sideways flight is on. I'm going to turn that off. I do not want that on. And uh, let's, uh, let's bring it around here. And I'm going to set it up for a flight right over the canyon. And I'm going to put it in uh, sport mode. Well, this thing is supposedly will do a maximum uh, five meters per second ascent. So, uh, so let's just uh, let's just see how it does here. So uh, I'm going to drop the gimbal down so we got it positioned. Reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And it's, uh, it's moving right along. And heading out over the canyon. And because of the way the canyon is, I'm kind of steering it out over the canyon here, the way the, uh, the rim goes there, so we can get it straight out over. And how high are we? We're 38 meters high, so we're plenty high. And I'll tell you what, the picture on this screen looks really good. Uh, and the fact that I am used to uh, uh, the, you know, my iPhone, and by this time I would probably have some dimming. So I'm picking up the uh, the uh, gimbal here, and I didn't put grid lines on. That's something that I'll have to do later. In fact, I'm almost uh, getting a little sun reflection off the screen here that's kind of glinting in my eyes. The sun is uh, behind me. But uh, anyway, again, we're in sport mode. We're right over the top of the canyon. Let's kick this guy in gear. Let's just see how fast it'll go. Uh, you know, <laughs> what a thing of beauty, huh? I mean, uh, let's see, 15 meters per second. Holy cow. Let's see if we can get up to 16. Almost. There's 16 meters per second. So that is about 36 miles an hour at 16.2. I'm telling you folks, for a little mini drone, holy cow. And, uh, and I'm watching it go by here and I'm keeping the uh, controller pointed towards the drone. I know I'm, I'm about 500 meters away and I know some people have complained about uh, uh, range issues with their Mini 3. Uh, so far so good for me, we haven't seen any of that. So it's looking really good. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you out here and we're going to see if we can uh, get a look at the, uh, at the Swan Falls Dam off in the distance over there. And then we'll fly it back and fly the other way down the canyon. Uh, the other thing that uh, comes to mind for me is, you know, the last, uh, you know, I flew the, uh, and I'm going to go a little bit sideways here and bring it around, get more towards the center of the canyon. And we're going to, We'll go out there a little ways and we'll center up. Uh, I'm going to center up on the dam and then we'll try the digital zoom on this guy. Okay, so I'm coming to a stop right now. And I got the, I got the dam right about in the center of the screen. So, and, and I'm trying to remember, I think it'll just go two by zoom. So I'm using that scroll wheel on the right side of the controller, which is so handy rather than having to hold down the function button. Yeah, two by zoom. And let me, uh, let me pick up the camera just a little bit so we've got it centered in the screen there. Uh, I can tell you that looks really good on the FPV screen. I can't, you know, uh, I'll be anxious to see what it looks like on the SD card uh, when I get the thing home. But uh, let's bring it back out to normal zoom. And uh, 
Yeah, nice smooth zoom. That zoom wheel works really, really well. Okay, let's flip this guy around. See if we can do a uh, see if we can do a graceful turn here. And uh, and we'll come back over the uh, over over the side here. And uh, you see that trail down the side of the canyon. I've actually seen people hike down that before. Uh, it's uh, I don't think it's something that I would do, but uh, but I've seen people do it. <laughs> Saw a guy and his dog do that one time. So there it is. There's the trail actually right there. So I'm going to move forward here. And we know that there's the, uh, I've shown you guys this, uh, I, you know, I guess you'd call it a landmark. It's a, I, I, I think it's a, a remnant of the days when they had airmail planes uh, that would point the airmail planes the direction that they needed to go uh, to uh, to get to their destination. In this case, it would be to Boise. So let's go over the top of this guy. Point the camera down. Well, maybe I'm. Yeah, no, maybe I'm. I'm not seeing what I thought I was at here. So I'm not where I thought I was. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to go further back this way. So I have actually, I don't remember seeing that turnaround before. So let's keep moving, uh, let's keep moving back towards us here. And I can tell you, uh, it's just phenomenal the way this thing, uh, the way this thing handles it. it, just handles like any other DJI product. Uh, in fact, you would never know that it's, that it's a mini drone uh, by the way it handles here. So yeah, I see the spot I was talking about. I was way further down there than I thought. Let's kind of get out over the edge here. If we're going to go over the top, although it does give you the sense of speed when you see the edge of the canyon. So here we go. And there's that trail down there that I'm talking about. If you, I'm going to drop the camera down for a second. You see that trail, and I've seen people walk down that. Uh, not me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, if you as you've heard me say before, discretion is the better part of valor. Let's see, battery wise, uh, let's see, we've been flying for, or recording for eight and a half minutes and we're down to about 55% battery. And this is the normal battery. I have the other battery that uh, this guy comes with. And there, this is the landmark I was telling you about before. And this has been rejiggered by people. It's just a bunch of rocks. It was an arrow with uh, a compass, you know, north, uh, pointing north, etc. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm going to go back in, I'm going to go into cine mode so that we can kind of do this a little bit slower here and let's see if, uh, see if anybody's changed anything here. It used to say, I love you mom, or I love you mother or something on, on those rocks that you see in the, uh, on the upper side there. So now it's something different. Let's see. Uh, well, heck, let's, let's use the, the zoom, right? What's the zoom for? So let me get that centered a little bit and let's zoom in. It says Mila Gross or Cross. I can't see if that, tell if that's a, a C or a G, but there's a heart above it. And it says, I love you so much. Well, what a nice sentiment. Uh, so anyway. And then that X there, like I said, that used to be, that used to have a north, uh, west, east, and south on there. So, and it kind of, kind of points towards Boise. So, uh, let's go into normal mode here. And I'm going to go back over the side of the canyon. And let's, uh, let's kind of come over the top of us here, over the edge. I always like this look, uh, flying right along the edge of the canyon. I think that looks pretty dramatic, and it gives you a sense of speed. So let's see full speed in normal mode here. Uh, looks like we're at about, uh, I don't know, 10 meters per second. So uh, that would be about, I don't know, 23, 24 miles an hour, or something like that. And I can tell you, it is such a pleasure... Uh, I am in full bright sunlight and uh, the screen looks good. I can see what I'm doing. It's so refreshing, you know, after the problems that I've had with other drones. Let's, uh, I'm going to come down and 
kind of bring it over the top of us here as we uh, let's bring it down and we're just going to do a high speed run here right over the top of us and then back over the canyon picking the drone up because it would definitely the altitudes going up there the uh, height of the canyon wall is going up there so we definitely uh, want to respect that so let's go let's move a little sideways and get out a little more over the canyon and again let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get a look at the side of the canyon here as we go that direction I always think that it's interesting sometimes you see uh, some birds, raptors, and stuff flying around on the side of the canyon. And I am not seeing anything on the screen, and it is a little bit shaded where the canyon is right now. I, uh, yeah, weak signal, I was pointed ahead, away from the drone, so I just am now pointing back at the drone. Yeah, and that went away. So I was pointed, that, that was operator error. I was pointed exactly the opposite direction of the drone. So, yeah, so let's go out here and uh, we're down to 39% battery. And I don't know if you guys uh, remember, but right about the bend here, I'm going to throw her in sport mode again. And we're going to kick it up to full speed and see if we can get out there. Uh, and see what our speed is going this direction, see if it's any different than what we saw the other direction, and it doesn't appear to be. It's right up to 16, yeah, 16.1, 16.2 meters per second, which is exactly uh, the same as it was before. But uh, with the Mini 2, the first time I flew it, I got up to about here, and the drone uh, started spiraling <laughs> out of control. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, I thought I was going to lose it, uh, and uh, you know, I finally, uh, I, I mean, I put it in sport mode. I did tried all the tricks I knew to recover control of the drone, and I finally sent it a re return to home signal, and the drone uh, took the uh, command and rose and came home, so uh, that was good to know. And I can tell you, uh, looks like distance-wise, there's no there's no issues here, uh, as far as signal strength for me. You know, the problem I had there before was because I was uh, not facing away, facing directly to the drone. Yeah, low battery return to home, so it hit its return to home. It's going to come home now. We've been flying for about uh, 14 minutes, and this is the first time on this battery so let's see what this how quickly this guy will get back to us here and we'll see what we can do in fact I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel that return to home and I'm gonna just fly at home uh, myself here because I think we'll get it back a little bit quicker and we'll get it uh, we'll get it closer to the side of the canyon so that if we have to uh, uh, you know do some kind of emergency landing or something we can but it's coming back and we have I'm trying to read the percentage there uh, you know it's in orange it's a little difficult to read but I think we got plenty of battery so again you know 16 minutes of flight time that's not quite the uh, so far that that's not quite the uh, the 30 what they say 37 minutes on this battery but uh, but that's all right uh, first time first charge on this battery so uh, and 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 by the way I've been flying it full throttle most of the time so what I'll do is uh, I'll get it uh, I'll get it back to us here, and 
and uh, we'll uh, we'll send it out a little bit and we'll do a return to home. Yeah, it's really wanting to come home now. So yeah, it must be down to 14% or something like that. Well, it should know that we're almost home, but it's sure, it's sure squawking at us. Okay, we're back into normal mode, and, and in fact, I am, I'm going to uh, hit a uh, return to home on the controller. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what it'll do itself for a, uh, how close it'll get to its landing spot. Critically low, but I mean, it's still at 10%. Yeah, it's at 10%, it's wanting to come down. So I'm having to manually uh, control it. Forced landing in progress, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, that's no good at all. At 10%, it shouldn't be trying to land like that. I don't like that at all. So let's bring it in here. See if I can get it roughly over the pad. Okay, we got it. Uh, we got it mostly on the pad there. Uh, so at 10% battery, it was coming down, and I kept having to hit the up stick to keep it in the air. I don't know if you can adjust that, but I think that's uh, at 10%. Like if I was out over the water and I still had 10% battery, I sure wouldn't want the thing trying to land. So I have to look and see if there's an adjustment for that. And you know what? I didn't look to see what our flight time. Uh, well, yeah, eight, we've been doing a screen recording for about 19 minutes now. So, yeah, we got roughly 18 minutes or so out of that battery. So, uh, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the, uh, the DJI Mini 3, I thought that flight went great. Uh, if I was picking nits, uh, the only thing that bothered me is that it went, wanted to land at 10% battery. That should be more like 5%. Uh, you know, I had to keep pushing the stick up uh, to keep it in the air and keep it coming back. And you know, you wouldn't want it to land out in the sagebrush or something or out over the canyon for God's sakes, uh, which is why I brought it over land when we were coming home. Uh, and if you were over water or something, that'd be a concern. So I, I don't know if there's an adjustment. I'll look into that to see if we can reduce that down to maybe, uh, maybe 5%. I think that's a little bit too aggressive force landing at 10% battery. Uh, although maybe it's to train people to bring their darn drone back, right? <laughs> uh, in any case, uh, I thought the flight went well. We got to try out the zoom, the two by zoom. We were shooting at 4K 30. Uh, we had really no range issues. The only time I got an adjust antenna warning is, was my fault. I was faced exactly the opposite direction from the drone and it gave me a warning. I turned around and, and got signal right back. And, we were out there uh, at uh, quite a ways, so uh, I don't, uh, you know, if I know people are ha reporting range issues, uh, at least where I'm at right here, you know, obviously this is, there's no Wi-Fi interference or anything out here. The drone did uh, just fine, so. And by the way, uh, flight time, of course, was a little disappointing too. I think we were in the air for about 18 minutes, uh, which is about half of what they say. Of course, first charge on the battery, and this is the small 249 gram battery. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm anxious to get it back in the air and try some of the other stuff out. So uh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. And that next one is going to be part two of the DJI Mini 3. And we're going to try out some of the intelligent flight modes.